more and more people headed to Michigan beaches this summer will be driving electric vehicles, and now they'll have more charging options. The state and private companies are placing 30 charging stations at Great Lakes destinations. And News H. Joe has this story from Holland State Park. And some of the first charging stations have already been installed here at Holland State Park. <laughs> Governor Whitmer traveling to the lakeshore to promote the plan. The state, Consumers Energy, EV maker Rivian, and a host of others teamed up on the project to bring 30 charging stations to state parks. The partnership is covering the cost of the stations and electricity to both EV drivers and taxpayers. And the numbers don't lie. Electric vehicles were a record-breaking 4.6% of new car registrations in the first quarter of 2022. But can the current electric infrastructure power additional charging stations? A recent report from Mid-Continent Independent System Operator, the nonprofit that operates power grids in 15 states, including Michigan, says expect rolling blackouts and brownouts later this summer as demand for electricity exceeds output and utilities like Consumers Energy continues to phase out most coal-powered energy plants. Consumer Energy's Brian Wheeler says the utility can keep up with demand from EVs. The key, he says, is the timing of those charges. Usually, if you have one at home, you're going to charge it while you're sleeping. That's the time where the grid has available energy. We build out our power grid for the busiest time at the busiest day of the year, that, that peak afternoon on a hot summer day. But that means we have a lot of capacity, a lot of availability overnight. All 30 of the stations should be available for you sometime this summer. At Holland State Park, Joe Lafergie, News 8.